Just five months before her tragic death, Diana, the Princess of Wales, was photographed by Mario Testino for Vanity Fair. I'm Mario, I don't know if I know you all, but probably not. The photos were exhibited at Kensington Palace, where Diana lived. Well, you know, when I was asked to do these photographs, I know that they were doing two... Com basically, she wanted to sell her dresses, so she went to Christie's for them to sell, Christie's the auction house, for them to do the sale of the dresses. And they came up with the idea of promoting it through photographic sessions, two sittings, two photo sittings, one done by Lord Snowden for American Vogue and one done by me for Vanity Fair. The photographs generated a lot of publicity leading up to the auction. Christie's in New York raised over two million pounds for charity by auctioning 79 of her dresses. And Lord Snowden, I mean, obviously had the access to, you know, to the palaces and to all that, so I guess he did the more formal sitting. And I was left without, you know, I, I really didn't have anywhere to do her but in the studio, so I ended up doing her in a very relaxed, simple, light way. Mario is known for making photo sessions as much fun as possible. The result shows a happy and relaxed Diana. Well, you know, I wonder whether this particular period was a difficult period in her life. I almost think that maybe this was the beginning of a new period. In, in that instance, when I photographed her, I think she felt very, very happy. I'm, I mean, a lot of people have asked me this in the past. Uh, I think that she just felt elated. She had, was entering a new period in, your, in her life. And I think all of us, when we're about to start something new, there's a certain excitement. What went on in those next mo six months, I don't really know because people say that they were difficult years in her life afterwards, but the moment I met her, I have to say she was incredibly, a, a very upbeat person. Even though these photos are taken by me and they're mine, they still, I still have to bear in mind that she has children and family and really she represents them. So whatever I do with these photographs will have a falling back on her children and on her um, brothers and sisters, so I've tried to be as, as discreet as possible in the way I've used these photographs and as I said, only because it came from the palace was that I decided it would be a good idea and seeing as she lived here and it had the approval of the royal family. Diana at the time said to me, you know, in passing when I asked her, and so to have you you know, photographers were really funny because I, I guess anybody that does anything artistic that has no definite value as such, except for the liking or dislike of people looking at it. So even though she had called me and said, oh, I really, really love the picture, I needed to hear more, you know, so you carry on the conversation and, oh, really, so you really like it. With what do the people around you think? And she said, well, my children think that it's the most like me. Ten years after the death of Diana, Princess of Wales, a major exhibition celebrating her life was staged at Kensington Palace. Diana, a Princess Remembered exhibition featured videos, photographs and dresses showing her change from a young, innocent girl through to becoming one of the most photographed women in the world. We wanted to remember her achievements and we have, I think, put here in an audio-visual exhibition, film, photograph and sound, a very eloquent narrative of her achievements as a princess, as a mother, as a fashion icon and as a humanitarian. And it's what she did with that iconographic status in inspiring charities, inspiring people, inspiring the British fashion industry, which we want to celebrate in this exhibition. where the princess really excelled was um, in her charity work as the princess as humanitarian, often embracing um, causes which were quite, quite tricky, quite controversial, such as, you know, AIDS charities, the Halo Trust and landmines. Um, and this, again, really made a kind of sort of perception shift, made a real difference to those, um, those, those good works being undertaken by those concerns. We've seen constantly the, the, the themes of inspiring, touching, accessibility, charm, always coming across. And I think people felt, even though they didn't meet her, that they knew her, actually.
Thank you.